I managed to sell two of my new books today. I happened to meet a couple of guys I do in the subway, and I always carry supply of my own books with me. So I started talking to them, and I whipped out a couple of my copies of my new book, talked them both of them into buying a copy. So I made myself 20 bucks today. You were selling your books on the subway? That makes you a panhandler. You're nothing but a beggar. I was not begging. I was selling my books in the subway. A beggar just asked for money that blesses you for your generosity. I actually gave them a book. My book, which I wrote with my own two hands for their money. And that makes me a businessman, an entrepreneur, and not a panhandler. If you ask a fellow commuter for money on the subway, that makes you a panhandler. A beggar, not a businessman. You're no different than those guys from Chinatown selling knockoff Duracell AA batteries for a dollar. Or those deaf people handing out those little cards with sign language hand diagrams printed on them for spare change. You're a panhandler, a beggar. You're no better than some homeless guy sleeping on the subway station wooden bench. You're nothing but a bum. Well, if I am no better than some homeless guy sleeping on a subway station bench, and you're fucking me, what does that say about your sense of self-esteem? You, <laughs> you must have some sort of sex fetish for street people, just like me, your vagabond lover, your lice-infested, syphilitic hobo of a boyfriend, me, Big Fucking Mike. You know, I consulted my magic eight ball last night and revealed to me that you were cheating on me with your other girlfriend, your Jew girlfriend. And my magic eight ball never lies to me, so I know you're cheating on me. I am not cheating on you. I don't have any other girlfriends. I swear. Who are you going to believe, me or that magic eight ball of yours? Actually, to tell you God's honest truth, I'm fucking six or is it seven other girls, including my other Jew girlfriend, behind your back. So many, quite frankly, that I've lost count. But of course, I'll never admit any of this to your face, little Miss Anti-Semite. I've lied to women my entire life. And I'm not about to start telling the truth now, not at this late date in my life. And especially not to you, that after all your unseemly innuendos about my professional panhandling career. So I'm just going to boldface it and lie to you instead. No, I am not screwing around your back. There's only you, dear. There's always been only you. Well, my magic eight ball has never lied to me in the past, so you must be cheating on me behind my back. Besides, I had a dream last night, and in this dream, I was in a gay pride parade. And do you know who was leading the gay parade? The whole gay pride parade? You, you were. So if you're leading the gay pride parade, that makes you gay. I'm, Kranz, I'm clairvoyant, and if I dream you were gay, that makes you gay. I am not gay! I don't know. Maybe I am. Maybe I am gay. That would explain a lot. Maybe I'm just confused. Confused. Maybe I'm just questioning my gender identity, my sexual orientation, my traditional societal norms of behavior. No, no, no! I'm not gay! I just decided! I'm certainly not gay! I'm sure! I'm straight! I'm as straight as John Wayne! I'm straight as an arrow! Straight as a locomotive! I'm not gay! Well, I had a vision, and in this vision you were gay! And I have a woman's intuition, and if my intuition says you're gay, and I'm never wrong about these things, and I think you're gay! Besides, you dance like you're gay! You dance too gaily to be straight! You must be gay! Look, I'm not gay! I thought about it, and I came to the conclusion that uh, I'm indeed not gay. If I was gay, wouldn't I be the first to know it? I still say you're gay! Big Mike, why are you involved with someone who is so verbally and emotionally abusive towards you? Because she has a great set of tits! Wait just a minute here. Let me get this straight. You're currently in a relationship with a verbally and emotionally abusive, anti-Semitic, born-again Christian evangelical girl for her tits? I'm not even going to dignify that question with an answer. Of course I am! You should see her tits! She's got those stargazer tits, you know the ones that are so perky and perked that they, the nipples point upwards at the stars above? I date that old anti-Semitic poet laureate Ezra Pound himself if he had a couple of tits like hers. 